Welcome to my uh, latest video. Uh, I've got my CNC mini mill here torn apart. Uh, I went to use it and the very first thing I had was uh, my computer up here, the uh, power supply was bad in the computer, so I had to replace the ATX power supply. I can say that this has not been a good day for me, but um, I felt compelled to make this uh, video just so that um, those of you that are using the same uh, stepper motor drivers that I am uh, have a heads up on a problem with them. I've got a stack of them over here. You can see the part number on it, but they also go by uh, a different part number. Um, I think TB6600 um, on eBay. This is a pretty common driver. When it works, it works good. But uh, I got a batch here. I've got uh, three here that I took out of here. Three. And uh, hold on a second. Okay, I'm back and uh, here on my kitchen table. Wife said it was okay. I've got uh, this is just a cover. I've got one, two, three, four more, and I can tell you that two blew up. Um, what happened was I went to use my mill, and uh, first the X axis went haywire. Didn't go bad altogether, but it was uh, it was um, stuttering and making other noises. Uh, First the X uh, went bad and then I opened up the back of the uh, mill as you saw there and then the Z went bad and I decided well I gotta find out what the hell's going on here with these drivers so I did replace the drivers with new ones the Z and the X axis and they worked but then I got to taking apart the bad ones and uh, I repaired almost all of them, but I want to show you what the problem is here. Hopefully I can get a good shot of this. You see the rectifier? You see it's almost loose, it's up in the air. This one I, I lucked out. There's a bridge of solder still connecting the, uh, still connecting the rectifier to the board and that's the only thing that saved this board. Once the rectifier falls out or opens up, the board usually uh, burns up the two resistors here and if left long enough it destroys the driver. And I had that happen on three different boards and I found at least five of them with um, uh, various uh, rectifiers uh, falling off the board. I had to open it up and solder them back in. You can see on this one, I think, you'll be able to see that there's a very thin bridge of solder and that's the only thing that saved this board. But uh, this is a problem. They're coming from China and uh, it would behoove you if you uh, buy these things um, to open them up, check them out, and uh, I've been taking the two screws off the heat sink here, turning them upside down, and taking a very good look at the soldering on the back side. Um, so it will behoove you to do the same, because these things are defective, uh, coming right out of the factory. These are brand three brand new ones right there, and I had three of three uh, with the same problem. I never plugged those things in and luckily I opened them up before I did because uh, usually it's the outer two rectifiers. I don't know why but uh, on one of them uh, the entire rectifier was loose in the case. It, it was just banging around. When I shook the case I could hear it. So anyway, beware. Beware of it. So uh, Otherwise you'll chase your tail like I did. I was wondering what the hell's going on because these things were they were intermittently failing on me and I, I didn't understand why until I finally just opened one up. So anyway, uh, I got my soldering iron turned on over here and I'm going to fix this one and then I'll have all good drivers. 
Have a good one.